Hey guys, I'm Stephanie B. And this is my brand new YouTube channel, Stephanie B. Creativity. And today, my very first video is going to be unboxing my 48 needle Centro knitting machine. It's a circular knitting machine, knits panels, knits in circular. I know a lot of people have already seen it, but I'd only heard about these in the last like two weeks. So I must have been living under a rock or something, really and truly. It got here, it was in, the tape hasn't even been cut open yet. So here we go, we're gonna cut open the tape. So I am going to reach in and let's see here, it goes this way. Again, counterintuitive, this is the back side of the box, but everything would fall out if I slid it out the other way. So here we go, let's slide this out. The box, like lots of people have said, is very childish. Makes me want to think, not going to be a very good thing. But I've heard that they're really good, that yeah, they're not as good as the Addy 46 pin machine, but it's uh, one third the price. So it does come with some information here. There's the knitting instructions. There's some QR codes, how to get started, how to uh, thread your machine and things like that. But the first thing I know that I'm going to need to do is install the legs, screwdriver, and then the knitting accessories, which is the plastic darning needle, short one, the plastic darning needle, long one, and the plastic crochet hook. We've got the legs. We've got four balls of yarn. We'll have to try them out. One thing I do like, all of the packaging except for the plastic bag, all the rest of the packaging is cardboard so you can recycle it. So there we go. I'm going to flip it over, move the handle, where I can, uh, there we go. So what I did is I found where the yarn guide, where the yarn guide is. So now this is all sitting flat and while I'm pushing on it and things like that, it's not going to go anywhere. Those little tiny screws are indeed for these legs. There's a slot and a, and a circle. So what you want to do is get this worked on there. And it is tight, as it should be. It should be tight because you don't want it to come popping off while you're working with it. There we go. That's seated into its spot. Goes into these little slots right here. So you squeeze it, kind of bend it just a little, attach it down, and I'm just going to grab some of this yarn, their cheap yarn, whew, that just drop it on the floor. Everyone else who's gotten one of these will show you. There is a panel or plain knit and T for tubular knitting. I'm going to do tubular, have it sitting here, give it its first whirl around. Number one is the first pink one after the white. I'm going to hold on to it until it comes, until it comes down and then I'm going to do the every other all right I'm back to number one put this into there into the guide, put that there. Let's see how this goes. I am excited to make some hats, but also to do some flat panel stuff. 
and you know where you can do some decreasing and some shaping and things like that there's definitely a farther distance to go when you're going around 48 versus 22 That cream colored ball of yarn did 42 rounds. Well, actually it did 40 rounds and then I did two rounds to get it to come off the needles. And the tension looks good all the way around. And if you wanted something, I guess if you bound off the edges, potentially use it as a neck warmer. So you'd have a neck warmer off of one ball of yarn. You could take this, tuck it inside, and you could end up with a doubled head wrap. Wanted to use it as a head wrap. It's, it's big enough to go around the head. Lots of stretch, actually. Somebody with a much bigger head than me could put that on. <laughs> So this is pretty cool. I think that that's enough for this unboxing and checking out to make sure the machine works. It does. Check out my next video. Thank you for watching this channel, Stephanie B. Creativity. We'll see you soon. Take care of each other and remember to be kind. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.